Interracial couples, what shocked you the most about your partner's culture? My wife had to deal with Korean people who will frequently comment about your appearance as a greeting. My aunt meeting my partner, hey I nice to meet you, your face is so small. This really wears down your self esteem, after living in Korea for a while. Someone replied, backhanded compliments are very much a nation staple. When I was living in Hong Kong interacting with the other women in my company was like a pleasant minefield. Some gems included oh, you don't look nearly as fat in this top as the one you wore yesterday. Have you changed your diet? Your skin is much clearer. You should grow out your hair so your face looks slimmer. Are you sick or not wearing makeup today? I learned very quickly that when you are eating food at my Greek so's house, you always leave a little bit on your plate. If you don't they'll say oh you're hungry and pile 5 times as much food onto your plate. It was really a culture shock as I was always taught that even if someone offered you food, you should turn it down or else you would be seen as taking advantage of someone's politeness. Leaving a bit of food on the plate never worked with my grandmother though. If food was left, you didn't like it and she made something else. If you did clear the plate, you were still hungry and she served more. Being late to social gatherings is so ingrained in their culture that showing up right on time is considered rude. She has literally made me pull into a parking lot and wait so that we were at least 10 minutes late to dinner at Tita's house. And we were still the first ones there by far. Someone replied, it's always been ingrained in me to be early, never late. Both my parents are super punctual, so I just grew up with that as a norm. Then we visited family back home in India, and holy hell. Dinner reservations are a nightmare. If someone tells you to book dinner at 8pm, just book it closer to 8.30 to 9pm, because that's when they'll actually show up. It's nuts. Everyone is always running late for something. Hair appointment at 3. I think you mean 4.15, because the hairdresser is running behind in her appointments. No one is ever on time. For someone as punctual as me, it was maddening. I'm half Spanish on my mum's side, we never really got on with my dad's family, which is sad, because some of his more distant relatives are amazing people, so I was raised in my mum's culture. My husband's family are lovely people, but how their family works is so strange to me. When they talk to each other, it's how I'd interact with a work colleague I don't see very often polite, cheerful, but never touching on personal subjects. They seemed horribly embarrassed when we called them to announce our engagement, we live on opposite sides of the world. I was a bit offended until I got to know them better, they do care and they are warm they just don't express it like my family do. I did warn my husband about my family, but I don't think he really understood. We are loud. Loud enough that, if you want to talk, you shout over everyone else. There are a lot of us. We are all up in each other's business. Our family will subsume you, if they like you. He gained 5 aunts and uncles and 10 first cousins without asking for them. My boyfriend is half Japanese, and his very unemotional relationship with his mother, and his father too, was a huge shock to me. My parents are European immigrants from the Balkans, and they are incredibly affectionate. My brother and I are affectionate with each other, and will hug in a time. I hug my parents nearly every day. I grew up holding hands with my cousins in public, but my boyfriend absolutely hates PDA of any kind. We've gotten into numerous arguments about physical affection in public or even at parties around our own friends. Naturally he thinks my relationship with my family is very weird. Because we hug. When I was dating a Mexican, I'd go to his family parties and they would play the most foul-mouthed gangster rap. Duck tha police blasting at a 5 year old's birthday. A bulus and a bulus up, and dancing to it. I made a comment about how liberal his parents and grandparents must be. He said oh they don't know English. This absolutely wouldn't fly if they knew what it was about. Someone replied, I'm Brazilian and me and my older brother are the only ones in my family that speak English. When we were kids, our birthday parties would play 50 cent songs about dirty things crimes, duck da police and so on, and there were all these little kids dancing to it, and parents and grandparents just humming along. It was so ducking funny. 
Also, my mom is really religious and conservative, and listens to dirty American music a lot. When I translated one of her favorite songs to her, she got white as a sheep. Weddings. My fiancé, Irish, and I, Indian, started planning our wedding. We are both wanted to go for a small wedding, and we sat our parents down and told them about it. I gave my fiancé a heads up to let him know that we'd have to operationally define what a small wedding would be to my parents, because to them small would be like a 100 people. He didn't take me seriously at first, but when we finally got down to it and told my parents, they came up with a guest list of just their friends and my family of about a 125 people. As a compromise, we've finally arrived on 20 people for the wedding and my parents are throwing us a party after with whoever they want to invite. It was like a war negotiation 8. Black British with a Jamaican family. Married to a white British guy. Was most shocked by funerals. When we had his nana's funeral I was shocked that people were invited and only immediate family. We did the funeral, then went to a pub and there were sandwiches cakes, tetc then everyone was heading home by 5.30 pm. Jamaican and Caribbean funerals are nothing of the sort. People turn up because they knew the deceased person years ago. Some people don't even make plans to go to the funeral they arrange to go to the after. There's hot food served like a properly catered function in a hall or center. There's sound systems set up and people dance. Also sometimes a couple old men in hats playing dominoes. There's also usually a 9 night so 9 nights after the person passes away you hold a big party essentially to chase away bad spirits. Lots of music, drinking, food, smoking, etc. I told husband about this and his face was a picture. Not my relationship, but my sister is French and is dating a Chinese guy. He buys so much rice she told me she could hold a siege for a whole year with it, and she keeps texting me stuff like, can you believe it, with pics of kilos and kilos of rice he just bought. Food. I grew up in a house where my dad is a good cook and we'd always have family dinner together, so I thought I was in a food-oriented household. Well a month after I started dating my husband he brings me to a big family dinner grandparents were there and all the aunts and uncles. 20 people around one of those big lazy Susan tables. I was the only white person in the whole restaurant. They would all be chattering away in Cantonese and suddenly I'd hear my name followed by laughter and a big scoop of something landed in my bowl. Not wanting to be rude I tried to eat everything. If I was really unsure I leaned over to my boyfriend or his mom and asked what it was and their answer invariably was it's good, you'll like it. On the drive home my boyfriend said I had been the dinner entertainment because everybody thought it was hilarious that this little blonde girl ate everything. They even ordered a few really authentic dishes just to screw with me. But I ended up impressing everyone because I didn't bat an eye. He told me later that was the night he decided he was gonna marry me because I wholeheartedly jumped into his culture and tried everything. I'm to a point where there are dishes I know I don't like, but if something new is in the table I always try. I'm white that married a Mexican. The biggest thing for me was that everything is a family affair. Like, I call my family every other week or whatever, but my husband's family does everything together. My first taste of this was when we were dating and it took the whole family to switch out his mattress for a bigger one. I was like, you couldn't do that yourself. He looked at me funny when I said that. Someone replied, I'm a white guy and my wife is Hispanic, and it was so crazy to me that literally everything is a family affair. It was a total 180 from my family. Like we see each other a few times a month, and then obviously on the big holidays and stuff. With my wife's family, we would see them like every other day. When we used to live in the same city as her parents and extended family, literally every weekend there was family get-togethers. Friday night at her parents' house, where a couple shias and shias, some cousins and maybe one of the abulitus would show up. Then Saturday night at someone else's house and all the abulus, abulitus, shias, shias, cousins, second cousins, you name it, they were there. Then Sunday afternoon for lunch with the immediate family. It was fun, but could get really exhausting sometimes. <laughs>